So last week, we actually, in my feed, my social media feed and everything, I got bombarded with this, but I just have yet to have the opportunity to make a video and an actual overview of this video. But last week, we got the opportunity to witness actual footage and gameplay from Pokemon Go. So we're going to go ahead and look at the video, we're going to stop and pause, we're going to elaborate on what's going on, and we're going to start the video now. Um, from what I've noticed on screen one, there's going to be a trainer on the bottom left. So there's a portrait of your trainer on the bottom left and the actual trainer on the screen. The screen looks like it's a type of Google Maps feature. Um, you can see your trainer all clothed up, so I'm assuming you can go ahead and customize the way your trainer looks. There's an IV sort in front of this trainer. And again, it looks like kind of a Google Maps feature. It's not necessarily Google Maps. This is the Pokemon Go app. And in the background, you can see two um, arrows pointing. One is blue, and the other one is more necessarily red looking. It's hard to see, but I'll go ahead and put, throw some circles on it. The blue one, I'm assuming, is going to be where your Pokemarts are, and the red one looks like it's a Pokemon Center. So it's actually telling you where everything is in the game. And it's going to tell you, of course, you'll probably see some arrows like that for when you witness other trainers, other Pokemon. And you're probably going to use this map a lot during the game. Back to the Pokemon portrait on the bottom left, you can see the trainer's name, Lin96, and you can see a level above it, level 9. When it comes to these actual levels, you gain experience from catching, adventuring throughout the world, and finding new and improved Pokemon. So you, uh, in the rest of the video, you're going to notice how this trainer actually gets experience. And on the bottom right, you can see there's three Ivysaurs. So that's either the Ivysaurs that that trainer has in stock or how many attempts it's actually taken for this person to um, catch this Ivysaur. So there's the Ivysaur. Wild Ivysaur appeared. So this is right when you're adventuring. As you can see, the background is real life world. There's grass, there's a sidewalk, there's a building in the background. The Ivysaur doesn't really... This is beta. This is early footage. So it's not completely 100% finished. The Iv it looks cool. And the idea is there. But I don't... The Ivysaur just does not fit in that that landscape. As you can see, the feet and it's, the, the camera is moving around. So the Ivysaur kind of moves around as well. So I'm not sure if they're going to be able to fix that or not. But at first, there's going to be a Pokeball thrown at the Ivysaur, and it missed. So then there's another um, Pokeball thrown, and this one's actually hit. But the Ivysaur uh, was able to break free. So now, as you can see, there's another screen. So you can see the Pokeballs, the Great Balls, the Ultra Balls, and the Master Balls. So I'm assuming when we were back at the section where it was uh, Google Maps looking, those three IV stores on the bottom right are probably the attempts on how long it's taken to catch. The first Pokeball missed, the second one actually hit, but it, um, the Pokeball, uh, the IV store was able to break free. But now, it's gonna switch into a Master Ball. Now, why would you use a Master Ball on IV store, man? Come on, bro! It's it just, just probably for the video to showcase that you can choose different Pokeballs. Can't complain, man. Can't complain. So, of course, Ivysaur is caught, and that's how the gameplay is going to actually work when it comes to catching the Pokemon. Now, we're going to pause it here. As you can see, there was experience gained on the um, the trainer. 100 experience for the catching and 10 experience, so 110 total. Now, in this next, pitch, uh, in this next uh, section of the video, it says Ivysaur, and on the top it has 535 CP. Now, I'm assuming that's crystal points, and I'm assuming that's going to be something to deal with when it comes to spending current. That's going to be an in-game currency of the crystal points. So you get crystal points per catch and per things that you do in the game. Um, it also has the time limit on the left-hand side. The, on how long it took to catch, it says what uh, what types of uh, Pokemon is, grass and poison, um, crystals on the bottom, so that might have something to do with the crystal points as well, not completely sure yet, and it also shows the HP of the Ivysaur as well, which is 94 of 94. Now, that was the only footage that we actually got, but it is enough to where we can see how the gameplay is going to be going forward to when it comes to catching. Not necessarily with trading gyms, team battles, and all that stuff. That's going to come out later, especially with beta testing coming on uh, towards the end of the month within a couple of days. 
but this is the actual footage of how we're actually going to encounter Pokemon and capture them. So it's pretty cool. Um, I just want to say, leave a comment down below. What do you think about the video? I'll leave a link in the description box in the video for you guys who want to go see it yourself. Thank you very much for tuning in. For the Winitachi is out.